Lesson 12.4, Make a Concrete Graph. We sort and classify objects by category, then move them by category onto a graph. This is the word graph, G-R-A-P-H. The P-H together make a F sound, like graph. A graph is a chart that shows information. This is a graph. And our graph has a title that describes the information, red and yellow apples. And our graph has two rows going across, and each row has a picture label. These are the picture labels. So the top row shows the number of red apples, and the bottom row shows the number of yellow apples. And we can sort these apples into their correct row and category. We put the red up here and the yellow down here. We put one apple in each box, starting on the left side. We got a yellow. Here we have another yellow. Here we have a red. And another red. We have another yellow. Another red. And one last red one. We can easily see we have more red apples than yellow apples the red row sticks out farther. And we have one, two, three, four red apples and one, two, three yellow apples. We don't count the picture labels. We count what is in the boxes of the graph. Here we have many blue and red squares and we can sort and classify them. They're the same size they're all squares, so we can sort them by color into two categories, blue and red. We can put all the blue squares on this side, and all the red squares on this side, and we have sorted them into two categories of blue and red. Now we can move the squares to the graph blue in this row, and red in this row. We can put all the blue ones, one square in each box. And all the red ones in this row. There are fewer blue squares than red squares. We can see the blue squares don't stick out as far as the red squares do. And we can count the number of blue squares and red squares in the graph. For blue, we have one, two, three, four, five. And we can write the number five. For the red squares, we count one, two, three, four, five, six. And we can write the number six. And remember, we don't count the picture labels. These are here just to tell us which row these are. We have five blue and six red. We can sort and classify objects by size into two categories of small and big. This chart, this graph, says small and big pumpkins. We're going to put the small ones in this row and the big ones in this row. We can take these small pumpkins and put them here, one in each square, and we can take the big ones and put one in each square for the big row. We can count the small ones, one, two, three. We can write the number three. 
we can count the big ones. One, two. We can write the number two. We don't count the labels. We only count what are in the boxes. There are three small pumpkins and two big pumpkins. Here we have several shapes and we can sort and classify them into two categories. They're all the same color. They're all red. So we can classify them by shape. We can put the circles on one side and we can put the triangles on the other side. We have classified them into two categories, circle and triangle. And we can put the circles into our graph for the circle row. We can put the triangles into the graph in our triangle row. We can count them and write how many. There are one, two, three, four circles. And there are one, two, three, four, five triangles. And we did not count the picture labels. We only counted what were in the boxes. So we can sort them into categories by color, by size, or by shape and put them into a graph. Our next lesson, 12.5, we're going to read a graph. I hope you have a really good day, and I hope you hit the like button because it lets me know that I've helped you, and it lets other people know that it's a good lesson to help them. Bye.